So Barbara, we could not be more honored to have you teach us one of your recipes tonight. I know you've been traveling around the world and, and doing some amazing things, so tell us what you're going to show us tonight. Okay, so I spent a lot of time in Japan recently and fell in love with Japanese bar food. And uh, the hotel director on the ship I'm on actually taught me this, and it's a konomiyaki, and it means as you wish. So it's a Japanese dish you can make any way you want. Uh, Jen and I are going to have it with some champagne, but <laughs> you can have it with a really nice Japanese beer. You're going to love this dish. It's great fun. I'm going to let you get started. This is going to be exciting and super fun. Okay, great. I can't wait. This is so much fun. I just love you. So this is really easy. I adore it because who can't make pancakes? And it's, it's actually a beautiful Japanese pancake that you fill with whatever you wish. So I've got a couple eggs that are going to go in here. And I'll whisk these up. And then I'm going to add this just to some nice um, all-purpose flour. So usually it's cooked on a teppan table. And I've got a gorgeous flat top. I'm here at Soto. So how lucky am I that I get to cook in one of the hippest spots in this town, which makes me totally happy. And so you're going to not use a whole lot of this batter. And the basis for this, I know you're going to say, oh my god, it's cabbage. But you know what? You're going to be fine. It's cabbage, but it's all good. And um, as you wish means when you go into one of these restaurants that serves the okonomiyaki, you've got a huge list of ingredients. And I'm super stoked because I actually get to use house cured pork belly. And in Japan, it's going to be a beautiful korobuta bacon. But um, this is making me even more excited. A lot of ingredients can go into this okonomiyaki because it means as you wish. And I loved it when I taught the Japanese guests how to make a French style quiche because I didn't need a translator for it. I was able to just say to them, oh, it's okonomiyaki. And they laughed and they loved it. And you really just want enough batter to hold this together. So we're going to oil this because I don't want it to stick. And it's beautifully hot. So I'm going to let this get golden brown and then I'm going to flip it. But in the meantime, while I'm waiting, I'm going to take some beautiful house cured pork belly from Soto. I really want to eat this. And I'm just going to lay it on the top. Because when I flip it, then we'll cook through this gorgeous pork fat and it's going to make this taste amazing. And it's really not okonomiyaki without pork belly. And how lucky am I to be using this. So these probably take like six to eight minutes per side. You want to get them nice and crispy and golden brown and you want the batter to cook through, which is sort of key to the deliciousness of these. In Japan, they actually serve them to you in your own private tepon table where they continue to stay warm. But my favorite parts for this is how you finish it. So we've got some truly, but you can get these. I got these here in Reno, bulldog sauce. A gorgeous Japanese sauce. It's all vegetarian, vegan, it's fantastic. So the bulldog sauce is gonna go on these. And I'm gonna shake it a little bit because sometimes it thins out. And then a, a good amount of the bulldog sauce is very key. And I kind of describe it as a barbecue sauce with legs. And so we're going to just put this on top. That pork belly, oh my god, the fat of that made this really super golden brown. And you want it nice and golden brown. So, And I'm going to spread it around so it looks really pretty. And then like all Japanese dishes, we got, we always there's always an element of sushi in what they do. So this gets topped with a lot of cool ingredients, not the least of which is a little seaweed. So this is a little nori that's real finely chopped. You can actually get it here locally, which just made me so happy. And if you don't like it, don't use it. It's okonomiyaki. It's as you wish. So I'm going to add, this is Kewpie mayonnaise. It's in the refrigerator section at the local Asian market. It's kind of cool. Go slow when you do this. Traditionally, you just come across like this. You can write on it. You can make a happy face. You can do whatever you want because the mayonnaise is key. It's sweet and oh, so creamy. And then some beautiful thinly sliced scallions. I love it that Richie did this for me. It's always beautiful to have a phenomenal chef have your back. A little red pepper just for color because this is as I wish it to be. And Jen says she'll eat anything, so I'm like totally excited. And then I'm gonna do one with and one without bonita flakes. So real thin. And then you can put a little pickled ginger with this if you love wasabi. A little wasabi can go with this. And one of my favorite dishes that I learned on Holland America in Japan, okonomiyaki, as you wish.